What's going on guys, it's Josh here from The Bag of Tricks. Welcome back to another trick tip. Today we're going to be learning how to ride switch on skis. So riding switch or backwards will really open up a lot of trick possibilities for you. I mean it opens up a whole nother dimension of skiing once you get comfortable with it. It is a bit difficult to learn at first. It's definitely going to take a lot of practice and a lot of just laps down groomers to get used to it. But once you get it, it's, it's really fun. It's something that people on the lift are going to see you doing and, and be pretty impressed by. And again, it opens up a lot of different tricks for you to do in the park. So first things first, if you plan on riding switch, uh, you're going to want to pick up twin tip skis. I mean, I guess you could do this without twin tips, but it, I mean, I, I just wouldn't suggest it to be honest. So if you don't have twin tips and you want to ride switch, I mean, you can go for it. I don't recommend it, it's probably not going to go too well, but uh, it's possible I guess, but if you really want to learn how to ride well, um, having twin tips is pretty much a necessity. So when you're riding switch, there's basically two motions, looking over the right shoulder and looking over the left shoulder. When you look over your right shoulder, you're going to be carving off to your left, and when you look over your left shoulder, you're going to be carving off to your right. When you look over your right shoulder, you want to drop your right foot back and stagger your feet, and then the same thing with your left. Before dropping in for your hill, I would suggest doing this here on flat ground, just working on both motions and, and getting comfortable with swapping from looking over your right shoulder to looking over your left, because this is how you're going to carve when you're going switch. Now, you definitely can carve by looking over one shoulder, but if you truly want to ride switch the right way, you're going to have to be able to switch back and forth between which shoulder you're looking over. When you feel like you're ready to take it to a real slope, uh, what I would suggest is finding a slope that's pretty flat. Um, pretty mellow, even the bunny hill or your beginner hill, whatever you call it at your resort, would work. Um, you don't really want to be going down really steep black diamonds and stuff like that when you're first learning how to ride switch. Um, you want to find somewhere mellow that you're comfortable with and that you won't get going super, super fast uh, to first learn this type of riding. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is just figure out which shoulder you're more comfortable looking over. That'll become pretty obvious pretty quick and it doesn't really matter which which shoulder you want to look over uh, that'll kind of matter when you start doing tricks like jumps and and rail switch but when you're just riding it doesn't really matter which shoulder you're more comfortable with but it will help for when you just want a straight line switch the, uh, when you straight line you're gonna look over that main shoulder so once you figure that out it's time to take your first carve switch um, this is when you're gonna start riding looking over your awkward shoulder as well as your strong shoulder so it's gonna be a pretty weird at first and even to this day I'm not fully comfortable riding switch so one thing that is very important when riding switch is the position of your head and your shoulders um, for the most part your body is gonna follow where your back is pointed so if you can imagine that for a second and looking at this picture his body and his skis and his lower body are all going to follow where his back is pointed and you can see his back is pointed off to his left um, his head and his shoulders are rotated hard to the right you don't want to just look over your shoulders with your head, you want to also rotate your shoulders. And this will rotate your back, which will in turn rotate, stagger your feet, which will in turn cause your entire body to rotate to the left. Um, your lower body is going to follow your upper body, just like any other trick. So switch is no different. When you look over your right shoulder, you want to look with your head, but you also want to rotate your entire shoulders in the direction of the turn. Riding switch is going to require a lot of edge control and you're going to get better as time goes on. It, it really takes a lot of practice. Um, again, find a mellow hill to start on. It's a pretty tough kind of concept to explain without showing you in person or trying to help you in person. But hopefully by watching this video, watching this clip right here, you can see him rotating his entire body, head, everything, feet, follow, everything. You know, it's a lot of edge control. It's a, it's a, it's a lot of practice. But, you know, there's, again, there's basically two main motions. Once you get that down, once you get used to both of them, you're going to be carving soon enough. Um, if you want to just start by straight lining and then stopping, reverting to forward, that's fine, man. If, you, if that's how you get comfortable riding switch, that's how you get comfortable riding switch. People do things in different ways. Um, there's really no right or wrong answer here. If you figure out a way that allows you to ride switch comfor comfortably, do it. But... If you want to learn how to really carve switch and get both shoulders going, then you're going to have to just work on it. Just work and work and work on it. Don't get discouraged when it doesn't go too well. Um, again, 
Look over the right shoulder, look over the left. Splice it up. You need to do both ways. You can carve looking over one shoulder the whole time because you, you may be super comfortable with that. But if you really want to take riding switch into a park, I know from experience there's tricks I want to do where I just can't do them right now because my looking over my left shoulder switch riding is not where it needs to be to do them. So I personally need to work on it. But hopefully this gets your foot in the door of riding switch. There's a lot more to it. Um, it, but again, it's just a lot of practice, a lot of repetition, and, you know, what I really wanted to do with this video is show you guys the main motions of riding switch, the, the rotated over the right shoulder and over the left, and show you this foot stagger and everything like that. The rest of it will come with time, with practice, and with patience. So there you have it guys, hopefully this helps you a bit. I know it's not my best trick tip ever, but it's really, really tough to explain this. Um, I just wanted to have a couple clips to show you guys, as well as, you know, kind of go through the very basics of riding Switch. Hopefully this helps. If it does, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. More trick tips, opening day edit, bunch of videos coming out, so stay tuned, guys. It's going to be fun here for the next couple weeks on Christmas break. Going to be skiing a lot, going to be doing a lot of cool things and making a lot of cool videos. So again, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.